So I'd just like to reassure the community that the essential services that the council provided are still being provided uninterrupted. So things like sewerage, water, waste, um, they, they'll be continue. You won't see any, any difference in those services. It's essential that we actually maintain those and we're making sure that they're the first resources that we provide. Um, also, we're maintaining our development approval and development assessment services to make sure that the, uh, the building industry keeps operating in the background, the development industry. I think it's important that we don't have any further economic impacts than are absolutely necessary in that particular area. We're encouraging everybody to go online if you can. There's plenty of contact points there or by using telephone contacts. We believe we can continue to maintain services during this very difficult period. As, uh, as we all understand, this is going to go on for a long period of time and we'll make sure that uh, the, the first things that are provided are those essential services that we need to keep going uh, for our community. One of the things that, one of the new initiatives that uh, Council has been working with the Toowoomba, oh, sorry, with the Transport and Main Roads was about um, having no contact points with the pedestrian crossings in the, in the CBD. What that means is they'll be automated to come on between 6am and 6pm uh, each day. So you don't have to touch uh, the, um, the, the crossing buttons, they'll automatically uh, activate uh, between the hours of 6am 6 and 6am. 6 and 6 PM. After those hours we're encouraging people to use the old elbows to touch it with that rather than to uh, use your hands which obviously reduces contact points and trans potential transmission of the virus. At Lifeline uh, we've uh, introduced a 1800 number now, 1800 051 052 so it doesn't cost uh, the citizens any, any financial pressure to ring us and book an appointment for an emergency relief uh, assistance whether that be an essential card, whether that be a food parcel uh, or whether that purely be that they've got some issues uh, we've had uh, experience recently of families that have self-isolated uh, with children, have no cash, uh, have no uh, transport and have no food and so we've been able to arrange for food drop-offs at this point of time uh, and I probably expect that that's going to increase uh, as the days go on. I'd like to pay a compliment too to the basement, the work that they're doing Nat and Tiff there. Uh, they're providing hot meals between 11 o'clock a.m and 1 p.m. Monday to Friday at the moment. And they're also issuing swags for people who may be homeless in our community. And they're doing that between 8.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. All our uh, counselling services are still operating, whether that be financial counselling, which I can say is escalated to uh, um, the demand for financial counselling is off the scale. Uh, and we're trying to recruit an additional financial counsellor as we talk at the moment. This is, a different, this is a different beast we're dealing with and it means that we operate differently. But we are one thing, we are united. What we're doing now, what we essentially have to do is make absolutely sure that we do not let it spread within this community. And that's the very reason we've taken some of the initiatives we've taken, uh, you know, in terms of parks, in terms of shutting down the gas supply to barbecues. We just, at this point in time, do not want people people gathering.